What's going on traders? This is Mike with Tactical Traders doing some end of the day scans today on November the 2nd and right now I am looking at ticker symbol FTCH. So right now I have the daily chart pulled up over the past few months of price history and as you can see we've had a nice little increase on price and then now recently the price has been going sideways in this little uh, channel right here and you can see where Previously over here, this was resistance. The price did break above that resistance, met new resistance up here, but then came back down to back test past resistance as now support at roughly $22.50. It did um, act as support, confirming to bills that the last breakout was a strong one and bounced on back up to the resistance testing that and now breaking out with a huge amount of volume coming in and having a high at roughly $34. Now we're going to be looking at this ticker for the coming days and week um, and we're going to bring up the five day 15 minute chart and right now we can see a pattern unfolding and now before i get too much into this pattern and what we're looking for and how we're going to be looking to trade this just want to say if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe it helps us out a ton and definitely check out our website tacticaltraders.com if you want to ever jump in the chat room with us for free so anyways we have this nice bullish movement early in the morning uh, roughly around 10:30, huge volume coming in pushing the price up many dollars coming up to meet a new area of resistance and then pulling back and the price did pull back however it did not give up all of its gains and when i say that uh it wasn't a pretty much a pump and dump where you see the price go up and then come right back to where it was just giving up all of its gains so the price did pull back some but has gone sideways and it looks like they have found support right here roughly at the 3150 mark and having areas of resistance, uh, we're definitely going to say right up here. And this, these areas are going to be kind of, kind of a, a bend, but we can pretty much say 3350 uh, is an area of resistance that we're going to be looking at. So if you're looking to trade this and you're not already in the trade, one way that I would say recommend doing this is buying it as a speculative buy. And when I say speculative buy, meaning you're going to be buying it still within the pattern and not have yet a confirmed breakout. So if you're going to be buying let's say uh, 3250 and below, I can totally see that a reasonable area to start building a long position. Uh, and what that's going to be doing, if you're going to be buying in a speculative manner, uh, you're going to have a stop loss slightly below this low right here of 31, what can I call it? 3130 for easy math, 3130. And we're going to have a first price target at 3340, a little bit before that resistance. And that is going to be a first price target. And when I say first price target, I mean that you can take off a quarter of your position, maybe a third or even half or all of your position size if you want to, to lock in some gains. Locking in those gains is going to give us a little bit more wiggle room. And it's going to be uh, making sure that we do lock in some gains, even if the trade doesn't break out to newer highs. And then if it does break out to newer highs, we can sell more of our position size up at, you know, for future gains. So we're going to have be able to have a tighter stop loss and also more room to profit on the way up. Now, if you do not want to play as a speculative play, another way you could possibly trade this is more on a confirmation basis. And we're going to be looking for 33.50 to break with price action. And at the same amount, at the same time, the uh, price action is breaking that A resistance. You're going to want to see a large increase of volume behind it. The large volume increase is going to be key. It's going to show us that it has a lot of momentum and a lot of bulls behind it. That's going to continue this up to new highs. So once again, just for a uh, quick recap, Speculative buy blowing, buying below 32.50 with a stop below 31.30 and having a first price target at 33.40 and then so on and so forth, so shaving off position size as you go, creating more gains. Or you can always buy it in more of a day trade or, or a confirmation buy at the break of 33.50 if volume does happen at the same time. Well, thank you for watching, traders. I hope you found some interest in this and found some information. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And check out our website. You can get a free trial, 33-day trial, to our live 24-7 chat room. Thank you for watching, traders. And until next time, stay profitable.